Hello there. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Stephanie and I will be your yoga teacher for today. So you've come here and you're ready to get moving. Power yoga for beginners. I struggled with this, but I think this is going to be appropriate for a beginner. Normal power yoga is matching breath with movement. So for every inhale and exhale, we're moving. We're not going to quite do it like that um, to make it a beginner friendly. We are going to match some breath with some movement, but it's not just going to be continuously the whole flow. We are going to get started in an all fours position. So go ahead and meet me there. And if you want the blanket under your knees, please do that. You'll be able to use it for quite a while here. So once you get in your all fours position, go ahead and make sure your hips are stacked over your knees. Your knees are about hip width apart. Your shoulders are over your wrist and your hands are about hip width apart as well. Your spine is straight and very neutral right now. Your gaze is down. Go ahead and close those eyes. Begin to notice how you feel here. This isn't a position we normally just start and bring awareness to. You have to work a little harder to keep this position. But this should come naturally. We come into this position a lot. This is one of those total body positions. using all parts of the body to maintain. Let's go ahead and take some cat cows. So go ahead and drop the belly and lift the chest on your inhale for our cow. And on our exhale, we're going to round the spine for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Beautiful. Oh, my hoodie. I kind of thought it was a bad idea to wear this thing. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and sweep our right hand up. And wrap it around our back. A little spinal twist here. And back up and place the right hand down on the mat. Other side, sweep that left hand up towards the sky. Your gaze follows. And wrap it around your back. A little twist there. And hand goes back up. And then back down to the mat. Beautiful. We're going to chase our puppy tail here. So go ahead and just look around at your right feet. Your right foot, your right feet. <laughs> and through center and look at your left foot. Beautiful. Go ahead and do some warm ups on the wrist. So we're going to just rock forward and backwards and then go in a circle and go the other way with that circle. Beautiful. Take your hands and point your fingers towards the outside edges of the mat and rock left and right. And go ahead and rock forwards, backwards. And then take the circle one way and take the circle the other way. Beautiful. Go ahead and point your fingers towards you, palms down. And feel that pull through the back of the wrist there. Rock forward, backward, side to side. And if you can, you can put your face of your hand down and see how that feels. If you're there and that feels nice, go ahead and try to close your fingers. See how far you can get them closed. Such a nice stretch. Beautiful. 
and back to all fours. Very good job warming up. So next thing is going to be matching movement to breath. So right leg kicks out, right left arm out. On every exhale, we are going to bring in our knee to our elbow 10 times. Ready? One, out, two, out, three, out, four, out, five, out, six, out, seven, out, eight, out, nine, out, ten, out, and go and place it down. Right on over to the other side. So left leg back, right arm up and forward. And crunch for one and out. Two, out. Three, out. Four, out. Five, out. Six, out. Seven, out. Eight, out. Nine, out. And ten, out. Beautiful. Come back to all fours. I'm going to take for sure. Whew, that got me warm. I hope that got you warm too. We're coming into down dog. So you can go ahead and meet me in your downward facing dog here. Nice bend in the knees is always fantastic. Our next move, we are rolling from down dog to plank. And we're going to do this 10 times as well. If you want to watch me do the first one, be my guest. We're in down dog. We're just rolling forward to plank. And then we're pushing back. Okay, that's it. 10 times. And get roll forward into plank. And back to down dog. One. Roll forward into plank. Back to down dog for two. Roll forward. Plank. Back to down dog for three. Roll forward into plank. Down dog four. Roll forward into plank. And down dog five. And forward. Plank. And down dog six. Forward into plank. And down dog seven. Forward into plank. And down dog eight. Forward into plank. And down dog nine. One more. Roll forward into plank. And push back into our downward dog. Beautiful. Take a couple deep breaths here before we move to the next one. Okay, our next one we're going to be in plank and we're doing knee to elbow. So 10 on the right, 10 on the left. We'll start with the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go ahead and do the other side here. So, left knee, left elbow for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push back, downward dog. Beautiful. Jump, hop, step, walk to the top of your mat, forward fold. Enjoy this. We're here for about 10 solid breaths. So go ahead and get your breath back. Let those arms have a little rest. I actually think I'm done working your upper arms. So we're going to move down to the lower part. Nonetheless, enjoy this. You can rock side to side. Keep that bend in the knee. So for that lower back. 
uh, a little bit of release there. Finding some calm. I miss the chaos. It's always nice. Beautiful. We're going to walk the left feet out to the edges of the mat and drop our sits bones down. Now we're in our yogi squat. If you need the blocks under your heels or the blanket under your heels, please go ahead and get it. We're just coming down through this position. We're not going to be here long. Gracefully, we're going to come into boat. So sit back. I'm going to offer the same mods as we did the other day. So if you're in your boat, number one is the long spine. This is key to keep the spine long. We don't want to see this. This is not healthy. We want an open chest, which allows our spines to be straight. You may be sitting there saying, Stephanie, there's no way I can lift my feet up like this. That's fine. You know what? You're still working all of those muscles that allow you to get here one day. We know this is a journey. This is not an overnight success and never will be. So we have our blocks to help us here. Best way I know to do this is to grab behind your legs and slowly, because see we can kind of teeter-totter here now, and slowly just lift your feet up onto the block. And then you can practice taking one foot off, seeing how that feels. The other foot, how does it feel? Straight spine is what counts. Can you lift both off and hold the back of the legs? Got a little counterbalance going on here. Can you release the grip from behind your knees and keep your spine straight? Ah, yeah, maybe. Hold and breathe. We're just staying right here. No movement. Just balance here. Breathing, smiling, firing up that core. Oh yeah, feel that shake. Allow that shake to come into your body. Feel those back muscles firing up. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna come on down to our backs. And hug those knees in. And they're gonna, these legs are gonna go up towards the ceiling. We're gonna do my little leg lift crunches. I don't recall whether I've done these with the beginners before or not, but they're a challenge. Okay, so we are gonna do what we can here. If you have to have your legs halfway, you know, bent like this, please do this because this is still better than not doing it at all. Okay, so. Legs either halfway or all the way. Interlace those fingers. We're going to have Kali Mudra here. Destructive forces. We don't want any negative thoughts about ourselves. Coming up here, you can do this. Go ahead and put them behind your head. When we drop the left leg down, we're going to come up towards the left. Come all the way back down and then come up towards the right. And then we'll switch legs. Okay, so drop the left leg down, come up towards the left, go all the way back down, and now come up towards the right. All the way back down, now switch your leg, so right leg drops down, up towards the right, all the way down, up towards the left, all the way down, switch your leg, so now left leg's down, up towards the left, back down, and up towards the right. Back down, switch those legs, so right leg's down, come up towards the right, back down, towards the left, down, one more time, left leg down, up towards the left, and down, up towards the right, down, switch legs, this is the last one, you got this, up towards the right, 
all the way down and up towards the left all the way down <sighs> hug those knees in oh yes you're a rock star way to go <sighs> see that wasn't that hard right <laughs> go ahead and take your happy baby here so we can grab by the shins or by the ankles however you would like to come into your happy baby our most beautiful wonderful childlike pose i love happy baby i love getting my heart rate up and getting my body moving there's something about a power flow that just makes me so happy all right hug those knees in we're going to take our supine twist. So go ahead and hug the right knee in the chest. Drop the left leg out long. We're going to just hug that right knee in. And then pull it across the body towards the left. Our right hand is going to go and lay out long towards the right. We're trying to keep both of our shoulders on the ground here. And gaze is towards the right hand. You can close your eyes and thoroughly enjoy this. You've done so much work today and this is well, well deserved. Very nice, slowly come back to center. Hug that left knee into the chest, drop the right leg out long. And we're gonna pull that left leg across the body towards the right. The left, left hand goes out long and our gaze follows the left hand. Both shoulders still on the ground. Breathing. Beautiful. Come back to center and drop that left leg out long. Coming in for our Shavasana here. Feeling all of that energy running through your body. Absolutely amazing, our human bodies. Allowing yourself to feel this heavy lightness we like to call zen. Go and get all zened out in Shavasana. My favorite. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself today. I am so appreciative of you, your courage and your bravery to keep showing up. I am here for you. I am here to support you. I've got your back. The mat's got your back. And you've got your back. I hope to see you back on the mat tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.